And it honestly also took a twist today because uh, new Dolphin safety, Deshaun Elliott, <laughs> uh, it, it, it really uh, got himself a full heap of Dolphins Twitter today because, and I actually didn't know this with Deshaun. I didn't know that he played with the Ravens. I, I knew him coming over from the, the Lions. Sorry if I don't know every safety in the league. Oh, did he um, play with the, I didn't even know that. I like play with Lamar for multiple years. Gotcha. gotcha. So he tweets out, after Lamar has his letter today where Lamar Jackson officially requested or revealed to the world that he had requested a trade weeks ago from the Ravens, which by the way, a hilarious troll job by Lamar doing that right as Je John Harbaugh is speaking to the media, just mwah, chef's kiss, Un chef's kiss. Unbelievable timing by Lamar. Well done by him. And by the way, I think it's smart thing by Lamar Jackson, who's trying to get the ball rolling on this because you want to know something. Every year we have something out of these owner meetings where these owners get snippy with each other and, and give double middle fingers to each other. So he has all the rich there together. And, you know, someone's going to say something and then someone's going to go trade for Lamar Jackson, give him a bunch of guaranteed money. Well played by Lamar. Uh, very smart. But anyway, Deshaun Elliott gets on, uh, gets on social media and he posts basically something like hashtag come to the Dolphins. And everybody's like, whoa, hey, <laughs> hey, man, they have a quarterback. They have a they have a QB. And I remember this was happening as our show was going on, Solana. We're watching this and we're, we're, I'm literally saying, I'm like, how long before you think he deletes that tweet? How long before you think that thing is taken off? And not. I don't even think a full 10 minutes goes by. And all of a sudden he's just like, relax, it's just Twitter. And he did delete the tweet, but. Yeah, that guy got a full helping of two and on today. What? Well, how are we handling this? Like, are we giving him a pass? Are we doing the oh, he he was just BSing on Twitter? Like, I I I don't know how I feel about this. I think he's handling it hilariously. So I am going to give uh, Deshaun Elliott a pass. I look. There's a couple of things that factor into this. One, he's been a Dolphin for three seconds. He's literally never put on the uniform. Uh, two, he is friends uh, or teammates, former team. He is former teammates with Lamar Jackson. I assume friends uh, and he's never played with Tua. I assume, you know, when he comes down here and plays with Tua, he's going to love Tua. I bet you he jokes about, I bet Tua probably sends him an edible arrangement. Probably, probably laughs about it with him right away. You want to listen, don't forget about Jalen Waddle. Jalen Waddle praised Mac Jones over Tua. And, and how did that go over? Jalen Waddle and Tua, best of friends. You know, his safety blanket. He loves him. So I'll give it to Sean Elliott a pass, but it was funny. I'm just like, man, really? Like, not even the own players are, are, are stirring the pot with this Lamar Jackson. We just want to get away as far from it as possible. I think we just got to learn to live with normal, dude. The Dolphins fan has to accept some normalcy, some consistency this offseason. No Tom Brady rumors, no lawsuits. Just your team is trying to get better, and and like my and like Mike McDaniel said, let's try and improve. Let's let's move on from just making the playoffs. And I don't think we know how to deal with it. Wasn't wasn't there also another Tom Brady rumor like yesterday or today? Oh my god, <laughs> dude! I walked in today to the studio, and like they're talking about Tom Brady back to Miami because one of the McCordy twins, I think Devin, yeah, went on Chris Long's show. I was like, oh, yeah. I can see it. It's just like. Hey, guess what? Every Patriot who gets to say, I could see it. We don't have to make it a story. All right. For every uh, Zolak or Brewski or McCordy or Gronkowski or whoever the hell wants to come on here who were a Patriot. Who, oh, I could see Tom. Hey, you're not original. Can we move on? Can we, let me know. Let me know when when, when OJ McDuffie says something, <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll bat an eye at it. Okay. When Ricky Williams says, I could see it. I'll bat JT or Zach Thomas. Then I'll, but if you tell me one more former Patriot says, I could see Tom Brady coming to the, shut up. I don't, know, I don't think I'm ready just yet to give Deshaun Elliott a pass. Bro, anybody <laughs> who's played in the NFL, anybody who's played in the NFL over the past two seasons, anybody who's familiar or just follows the NFL is pretty in the know about how polarizing Tua Tungabailoa is in Miami. I like I 
I don't care if you're a player and you don't follow the league because you just take care of your own business and you go home. Like, if that's your excuse, fine. But, bro, you're telling me you you literally signed with the Dolphins and less than a month later, you're talking about another quarterback who is also very polarizing down here. You're calling for him to come. Bro, he's your former teammate. He's not your former teammate. All I know, Tobin, is Tua lit up the Lions last year in Detroit. Yeah. And now this guy is in Miami for uh, 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 two minutes, and he's talking about bring Lamar Jackson to Miami. I don't know, man. Like, I, I'm hoping Tuanon doesn't forget this. That's all I'm saying. I'm hoping Tuanon doesn't forget it. Because the, yeah. the second this guy, we get a video of Tyreek or Waddle burning him in practice for a touchdown, I want that bitch to go viral. Wow. Viral. I mean, like, look, I don't want him to be the, the next uh, Vince Beagle who's out here, you know, trying to get his, his – like, Javon Holland did say. He was, like, laughing at it. And Deshaun Elliott said, bro, it wasn't even that serious. And Holland responds with a bunch of laughing emojis and says, nah, fam, <laughs> nah, fans be blowing bleep up. It's never been serious. Oh, come on. Come on, Javon. Don't do not do that. Don't do that, Javon. This isn't, this isn't him, you know, talking about bringing in another tight end or bring back Mike Gusecki. Like, th th this is the argument of all arguments that we've been having for four seasons and will continue to have in Miami. And he came in here for a week and he's stirring the pot already with Lamar Jackson. <laughs> you got to earn your Twitter stripes. I'm just saying, man, like, you, uh, how could you – I'm I'm obviously I'm, – I'm being a little overdramatic, but how could you be so oblivious? I get how? it. But I think I, – I do think it's one of these things. Like, I don't think you know till you know. Like, this guy's sitting here and he's trying to, like, live life with Man Campbell as his coach, you know? Like, I don't think he knows – I don't think he knows what Tuanon is. I think he's just, like, <laughs> you know, he's like, oh, my, my friend is really good. My friend – I would like to play with my, my, my former teammate again. He was really good. I, maybe he thinks he's better than Tua. I don't know. Okay, and... but here, here, here's my thing. No joke. Let's say Deshaun Elliott signed with the Bills. That's all I'm saying. He signed with the Bills. Does he say that? Does he tweet the same thing? Probably not. Probably that's not. My, that, that's my issue. That's my issue. Like if he if he signs with, I, I guess Green Bay is a good example. Cincinnati. Who's like, Cincinnati. Uh, if he signs with the Chiefs, mm -hmm. is he saying the same thing? No, no, right. So that that's my problem with it. Where it's like, okay, I mean, you're he, he's kind of throwing a diss to Tua because you know he wouldn't tweet that if Josh Allen was his new quarterback. I guess he you. wouldn't tweet that if Patrick Mahomes is his new quarterback. If Joe Burrow, as you'd say, is his new quarterback, why? Because he knows those guys are the best quarterbacks in the league. He can't throw a slide at them a week into being on the organization, but he's comfortable doing it when Tua is his quarterback. I don't know, man. Like, like, get get your head in the damn game. You know what I mean? Like, realize, I hope you're, yeah, I hope he's, what's going on. I hope he's a lot clearer with Fangs' game plan than he is with his with his Twitter game. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. He's probably going to be really good too, man. Like, did you? He, and did he you hear? Is. Did you hear uh, when Mike McDaniel just out of nowhere just says, "I don't know where everybody found out that Fangs is grumpy." I was like, <laughs> "What a strange thing to reveal." He goes. I don't know where everybody got this rumor was that Fangs is a grump. He's a delight. <laughs> I was like, well, you guys haven't played games yet. I mean, he's, he he may be he may be very surly. And Fangs does strike me as somebody who who is going to wear losses badly. Well, I want him to be that guy. Like, I want him to be a grump, you know, because we, we, we need the yin and the yang. We have the quirky, funny, always trying to make a joke head coach, which yep. I love. I want the grump in the building who – you know, is waking up at seven in the morning. He's just pissed that he he's got to go in after a loss, and and he just wants to study film. And he's looking at McDaniel, who's talking about uh, some philosopher who he read up on last night. And he's like, I don't need that BS right now. Like let let let's study film, McCoachin. Bear down.